nowadays there are so many threats and scams in the market how to find a good advisor i don't think the threats and scams are more now or less now we tend to remember today's events better so 1992 also had a harshad scam then there was a ketan scam there was a home trade scam there were just too many you were forgetting many of the scams because it were not impacted by it directly uh, car we scam where a lot of uh, individuals lot they lost their uh, shares and uh, perhaps uh, demated mutual funds I'm surprised that people still go to them for uh, mutual fund advisory. They still have an ear in and they are selling. Uh, well, it is up to them. So if you choose to go to the wrong advisors, uh, then it's your problem. So if you go to an advisor whose one arm has been uh, arrested by the police and one arm is being prosecuted by the court and things like that, why would you even go? So you make a choice of going to the wrong people. uh you go to a, you go to a broker open a demat account and give a power of attorney telling him you can do whatever you want uh well you have a choice you could have gone to a bank you could have gone to hfc bank icici bank and opened a demat account i don't see any risk happening there if you choose bad uh, if you make bad decisions about who should be handling your money uh you will suffer so will how to find a good advisor even if you find a good advisor the custody of your money need not be with the advisor right you don't have to give it to carvi to in a demat form and say okay manage it also you have no clue what they will do and they have caused a lot of harm and uh, amazingly last week i met somebody who has been caused a lot of harm and did not even know that the harm has been caused so if you are not very diligent if you don't know how to handle your the custody part of your money uh, you're in deep shit right so how to find a good advisor has nothing to do with this how to find a good advisor is the same way how you would find a good doctor you go uh, go out meet friends talk to them uh, if you were in the same city where you grew up good chance that one of your classmates or a brother or her sister or somebody would be an advisor go and seek uh, and like ronald reagan said trust but verify right so people say oh is so and so's brother he must be great and all that that's fantastic uh, and i like what ronald reagan said trust but verify first few transactions you make sure that it is going through smoothly growth fund growth option whatever you want to put make sure all that is going smoothly so you're checking for uh, simple basic execution skills and then uh, when uh, he or she gives you advice keep checking against somebody else's advice websites uh, i i don't give advice on specifically which fund to invest so maybe you have two advisors maybe you have one advisor and you ask the other advisor the same thing or you have an advisor but you are you bounce off those ideas off your bank rm whatever find out the ways and means and then say okay this is the fund advisor with whom i want to go and now i will not do cross checking and multiple checking because i trusted her and i verified and she was good and so now i need, i can uh, you know bravely choose her as my uh, agent or as my advisor and then i don't have to worry too much about uh, <clears throat> on a day to day basis i don't have to take any execution risk or suggestion risk or anything like that so that's that's how you do but it is got nothing to do with the scams uh, that are happening